Hello guys, now to Ace here, and this time I'm gonna give my thoughts on the Summer Game Fest 2023. And I have to say, there were some a lot of surprises, especially a big one from Square Enix. So I gotta give props to them. So this is gonna be quick to some extent because some of the games I'm gonna mention them on other videos. So with that said, let's start with first. Honkai Rail Star. So, of course, it's already out on PC. It's been announced. It's going to be on the PlayStation console in late 2023. And I'm going to say, what is it? Well, it's an alternative to Genshin Impact. As of right now, you can only either play it on mobile, PC, or PlayStation console. There's some rumor that said that Sony is gatekeeping it. I mean, the person that said from what I heard was Mike Odyssey. Believe it or not, you know, it's up to you. But... Hey, I can't wait it on the PlayStation. I mean, I can also try it on PC. But let's just say that I just prefer to play it on the console. So, yeah, I can wait until December 2023. My assumption. But, yeah, so finally, a console version there. So this one, I'm not really interested. But a friend of mine is. And every time he lose, he gets salty. It's irritating. It is what it is. I mean, people get salty. And the reason is sometimes people cheat, they use cards that they're not supposed to use. I don't know. I don't follow Marvel Snap. But on the Summer Game Fest, there was a segment where the guy announced a new update for the game. It's supposed to be better, it's supposed to fix all the problem. I don't know. But as of right now, my friend's playing it with a new update and still losing, being salty. So. Who knows, but yeah, I can see why it's good. A lot of people play it, I tried it. But for me to some extent, I'm like, hey, you know what? It is what it is. It's a mobile game, card game. It's not that bad and I, it's not supposed to be paid to win, but I don't know, so it is what it is there. Also during the summer game fest is that Jeff Keighley talked to someone from Insomniac about Spider-Man 2 and they revealed the date and it will be on October of 2023. A little bit tricky because two other games that's gonna come in that month, Super Mario Brothers Wonder and Sonic Superstar. So again, if you have 60 to 70 dollars, you can only choose one. Which game are you gonna choose? So that's gonna be tricky. Well, see, it's either gonna be Mario, Sonic, or Spider-Man. Closing with this one are two big ones. And from Square Enix, so you gotta give props to Jeff Keighley for actually getting them. So first of all, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. It's a free to play game. It's sort of the retelling story of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Mobile game, free to play from what I understand, but it also has some other element that's not in the main game. Of course, there was also, if you remember, Final Fantasy VII First Soldier, that was shut down because again, it was only mobile. Could have been had a potential. We was on the console. It was basically Square Enix version of a Fortnite game. But again, it is what it is. The game shut down. End of service. So now this one is more of a single player, but it's free to play. And from my understanding, that you have to pay for chapters. But we'll just have to wait and see. So sort of a casual version of Final Fantasy VII. But speaking of the remake, they finally showed more gameplay for Final Fantasy VII. Rebirth, yeah, so the most anticipated game, if you're a PlayStation owner, it is exclusive for that console for right now. They showed more what it is, and this time around, you get to play as Yuffie and Red. So if you followed Remake, Red was there as an NPC, Yuffie is only in a DLC, but now they're going to be in the game. So what about Sid? What about Vincent? Who knows? So just have to wait and see, but what it looks like. It might look like there's not going to be a world map. It's going to be a bigger open world, kind of like Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe, I mean, again, they are getting away from the OG style of Final Fantasy with the world map and turn base. This one's sort of an action turn base game. But I played the first game, part one. It's not that bad. So it's been officially revealed. First of all, it's going to be two discs. So I'm going to assume it's going to be one of those install disc and play this. So. And this is a PlayStation 5 exclusive, so it's not gonna be the PS4, so you're gonna see how big this game is. And they announced that the game is gonna be in 2024. No surprise, they said that before, before in 2022 that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is gonna be winter 2024 or early winter 
And there you go, 2024. Those are my thoughts for the Summer Game Fest. There are more. However, like I said, I'm going to give my thoughts on the other presentation about it, such as the new Persia game. I'm going to talk about it on the Ubisoft Forward, my thoughts about it. Microsoft have their own showcase, like the Yakuza. I'm going to give my thoughts about that to another video. But like I said, a lot of this trailers, presentation, they're kind of like... They kind of like cross showcase to other presentation and that. Like I said before, at the time I was in a place where I really couldn't do my regular videos. So stay tuned for those. And with this one, like I said, credit to Jeff Keighley. Awesome presentation, in my opinion. But before I close this, I want to also warning a bit political here. So apparently on social media, there are some people complaining that I have the lack of female representation on the presentation. Like the dev, how come there's no female dev, female whatever? And Jeff Keighley said that the voice actress for Alan Wake 2, which is one of the co-protagonists, the female cop, she was going to plan to go, but time, she couldn't go. So, I mean, to the, some of the people, don't you just think maybe it's just scheduling that they're busy or they'd rather do something else than talk to Jeff Keighley, just saying. So, before to assume that it's a male-centric presentation, Trying to think outside the box and maybe because some of them just have other things to do. Just saying. I mean, for crying out loud, man. I'm sorry, but it was a bit of irritation on my part. I mean, I agree what Vera Dark kind of give her opinion about it. It's just calm down. It's just a presentation. Celebration of game. And if XYZ person's not there, they're probably doing something. Jeff Keighley probably gave invitation and some of them said, well, I got to do some just saying for crying out loud. Anyway, apologies for that one, but it's tiring every time I hear this type of crap. So anyway, with that, I'll see you guys later. The featured player's win streak has been stopped. We currently have a player on a winning streak.